Welcome, Mika Mustakalli. I'm excited to have you here. Mika yeah. is the CEO, founder of a, of a software company for the financing industry. Mika, please tell, tell us about you. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Very happy to participate this uh, virtual seminar and summit, uh, the modern world. So thank you, yeah. Marcus, for having me. Thank you. So some some uh, back ideas, what we who we are, what we do. So yeah. more software is our company. We provide risk management software for banks and particularly for treasury and balance sheet management of the bank. Okay. And, and so the main, main, yes, we have done this originally inside the bank uh, in, in uh, 95 already, long, long time ago. So we've been doing this a okay. time. And, um, and, and then the, my partner, who we started the company as co-founders, myself and, and Mr. Makkonen. So, so he was a consultant for me when I was working at the bank in, in 95. Okay. And then... After we've been working like that long time, so we decided that this is we, we need to curious to know if this is something that we could live on. And, and we started to sell outside to other banks. And I stepped with him and stepped out from the bank. And, uh, and, and uh, this, this was uh, 2006, 2009. We were lost in the jungle doing good things, but we didn't <laughs> know what to call them. And uh, okay. we didn't know if, if this is... Uh, something a business truly so yeah. so uh, a couple of well, first years yeah how had how had the journey been have you been making profits or, or how, how has it been a struggle <laughs> uh, it's been it's been a good journey a long journey uh, nothing turned out to be one euro to 100 million euros in half a year as everybody would wish that doesn't yeah. happen uh, but we've been doing positive business all the time. We had the original bank as, as, uh, as a customer when we started. So of course, in the beginning, uh, that was a kind of a starting point. And then we have started to sell uh, outside to other banks. And, and, and uh, that's the, actually the journey yeah. uh, after 2009, we, we, we started to focus from risk control to risk management, because it's same, same, but a little bit wider audience okay. and there is a market for that and then we expand it to treasury because treasury makes the money and is somebody who has signed yeah. the checks and so on so so we all the time have had the system the same yeah uh, but then going forward towards where what the market calls it and, and yeah. Uh, yeah. so you have mean uh, two three bigger kind of strategic decisions I, I love to call the strategy of sector you know so <laughs> exactly. I modified the sector a few times already yeah. yeah Mika we did the one page together for a few years ago and now you've been implementing since then so I will be very interested now to to talk with you a little bit more about the implementation but let's go back to the to the day when you made the decision that now you want to crystallize your strategy on one page what was the situation then Mm -hmm. Well, um, with that time we already were uh, close to 10 people, all key people doing the same thing, doing the same software, developing, selling, uh, servicing uh, projects and our customers and, and uh, the big picture, we all have been working in the big banks or, or consulting firms or, or that kind of a background. So, yeah. so we have always had the goal to draw small steps, but steady. And then we always think about how do we cope when we are bigger? Yeah. And, and then we know this, the kind of a shock that we are not even 10 people in that time. Uh, and, and we talk about same things. Uh, we use same industry terminology. Yeah. And among ourselves, we recognize that we are using uh, the very same terms for different meanings, uh, okay. and and then the same same uh, um, uh, uh, kind of a terms for for different meanings, and <laughs> and and, uh, and then we that God damn it that if we are a couple of guys and what then if we are twenty so it would be impossible to have a structured yeah. discussion or 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 
talk about things if we say word risk and everybody thinks about the different risk and then when we continue so automatically we would go to different directions so this was kind of a wake-up call for us that we need to start to talk to each other on a structured way and put down something on a paper it, it's not floating in the air as we okay that thought. was not really interesting now when, when you recap this that it was a language in internal language issue really yeah, yeah. Uh, the industry is uh, uh, banks are huge uh, the same words risk exist if you're an asset management business you you have completely same risk but from the different angle and and corporates have it the same yeah. way and the banks where we serve the bank's heart treasury and and balance sheet management uh that's the bank's bank's own own center or heart yeah they they, they have a other way of of they look the risk from their own way their own engine and uh, yeah. we need to talk about the same same words all of us uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, tell me, how, how did you, when you started to crystallize your strategy on one page, so how did you do it then? Um, then, okay, the first, first we had, uh, you were there, thank you. So we had a small management group and you kind of thinking of what are the, the what are the parts uh, that we should include in a strategy process and uh, what are the main directions of the company, what we try to get out of it and as, yeah. uh, what is this strategy as, as a phenomenon. Everybody talks about it, but, but how do you define it and what you should actually do? So this was kind of a, uh, a frame. And then uh, we started to use the power of three kind of shopping list where you, when you go to a shop without the list you possibly maximum remember three things and yeah. the strategy things need to be something that everybody remembers uh, yeah. they are easy so we selected three uh, focus areas uh, yeah. we we selected maximum three projects for each focus area and and for these projects we uh, we decided uh, from the yes you have a million things you need to do to, to grow and win more and you know all that so we have yeah. massive massive amount of tasks that we should do but prioritizing from the long list always maximum three uh, tasks or under each project yeah. so so this kind of a this was a kind of a then we locked ourselves in this kind of a frame yeah. and, and 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 that that was a kind of a good starting point possible to remember, possible to talk about the same words and yeah. remind ourselves what these words mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a simplification process, really. So uh, when, uh, do you remember still, Mika, that the starting point, the day you started and the day when the, the, when the one pager was ready, how was the thing for you? Did you realize during the process something that was essential? Or was it just, you know, everything you knew it already, it was just there on the paper? Was there some kind of changes in, in the thinking? Uh, there were many changes. Uh, the, the, first of all, the first phase when you... Um, um, Facilitated. Asked, asked and facilitated, asked us said, what do we do actually and we, we dis described it a little bit differently and tried to crystallize that what, it, what could we call it, what is understandable yeah. language. We are specialists, we are geeks so we talk about our <laughs> funny language and nobody understands and you were <laughs> worried about that nobody will understand what you talk about that get it simple and talk something that street people understands and otherwise because street and the sea level having the power, understanding, going with it, believing it or not, or signing, yeah. the sea level signing. They need to understand. So they need to from understand. that point of view, really, really, we yeah. put everything in pieces and started to talk about. So that was, I think, the, the main uh, starting point. Yeah, yeah, to have a simple language. And then how many people did you involve? Um, the... From the beginning, it was super clear because all of us, we are key people here. Today, we are 20 people around, so, so everybody has a role. Everything else, we have outsourced. 
So, so from that point of view, it was super uh, clear for us that everybody should be involved. Everybody should be in, involved in every phase what we do. Otherwise, it is top down, and in this kind of a small team where the specialists know everything, and 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 yourself, you are the kind of just the yeah. <laughs> housekeeper. So, so why why would you set the rules? They they, they know and the market knows. So, yeah. include everybody. That was really important for us. Yeah, truth is that top match management doesn't know everything, and you. Oh, yeah. Nika, you, I remember you used the word sauna, but the, that, I mean, everybody was in that small conference room, you know, and the temperature went up, so it was kind of, <laughs> but we had clothes on because the Finnish sauna, you don't have the clothes on. That's <laughs> correct, that's correct, yes, we had, uh, I believe we had two or three rounds of those saunas with you, uh, yeah. and, and then we, we, we kind of booked the whole afternoon, uh, started around lunchtime and and then uh, everybody were booked no client stuff that day yeah and and, and then you you um first sauna was that that uh, like forgetting what we did together with you with the small management team uh and and we said that okay we've been preparing this but now we start from the beginning and then you started from the beginning everybody involved truly involved everybody yeah. understanding it and, and being involved so that was kind of the first sauna then we got some homework from you everybody to fill in type in blankets and what is important for us what do we think is important yeah, we did for our customers see. and all all kinds and then we in the second sauna we went through all of these things and and some people talk more, some less, and some people said that, okay, that's my comment, I mean actually this, and then, then somebody said, no, you don't, <laughs> you mean something else, and then we started to formalize. But three, three of these uh, yeah. heavy, heavy four or five hour saunas in the small conference room, we did truly. Yeah, and, wh and what kind of uh, reactions did you get from your people? What did they tell you after the meeting, and how did they feel? Yeah, the the all the all the comments and 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 reactions are positive. Uh, uh, that yeah. that um, we 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 really know what we have prioritized, why we have prioritized. Yeah. Uh, we all bring from from different from the software development side or, or sales side or, or being working with the, with the bank, the customer side, the yeah. needs, uh, somebody reads the yeah. regulations. We, we all really put these things together and, 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 and uh, it's kind of amazing outcome where, where the, between these sections or part, Funny to call 20 guys three departments, for right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we had three type of, I think, main, main from that point of view, development. Yeah. Department, development, when, you come development up, or, when you come up to 20 people, you, you start to have to, to, to build, build a, a little units there. And you know, one thing which I think is so nice to compare, a cell hmm. grows by dividing itself. Right, right. If you are too big cell, it stops growing. So you have to divide yourself and 20 people is already, you can't be in one cell anymore. You have to somehow. So I think you're very, very, very good. So, um, so Mika, if you would like to crystallize the number one benefit that you experienced from, from crystallizing the strategy on one page, what would you say? What was the main? Mm -hmm. I think uh, the main 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 benefit is is being able to keep the focus uh, same with the six people in the beginning uh, same with the three departments uh, sales guys do their run they hear things they promise things development guys uh, develop what they feel is is nice and and the project guys uh, help customers continuously with true customer problems uh, all of those need to be in line and everything we do in any of these three uh, cells or, or segments or, or, or departments so so it all needs to lead to one direction that, yeah. that we yeah. all know that this is focus this is something we do 
Uh, this we do because we can repeat it. This is important for the for the product what we offer, yeah. and 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 so the focus, keeping the focus, because there are a million things you are weak in the beginning when it's yeah. a question of dead or alive. Uh, you you need to promise and do everything to everybody just to get flow in, and, yeah. and then you need to make sacrifices, and and it's awful moment to say to somebody yeah. that no, we don't do that. We do this, and Thank then you are you. on the focusing route. Thank you, Mika. Now you said a, a thing which is very important. In the beginning, you take the business you get, and you, right. cannot, be so, you cannot be so selective. No. You have to take because you need the cash flow. But then after a while, you have to decide because otherwise you cannot be good in everything, but you have to be specialized in something. To be, hey, uh, now, now the story has been very wonderful, but I know that we had challenges during also the, the formulation of the strategy. So what would be your answer if I ask that? What kind of, what is difficult? Mm. Uh, uh, difficult, uh, it's kind of a, one way, there are so many good ideas that we could exactly. do. So that is kind of a prioritizing the tasks that we yes. do. And, and, and that, is, that is difficult in a way, but that's kind of the, what you expect. Uh, being organized, that's what you promise to yourselves and your, your mates uh, to, to focus on. But I think then when you get this work going on, um, the new thing for us was that what is strategy actually? It is something that you, you, you decide to concentrate on things that you want to change, hopefully yeah. improve, not easier to make it worse, but, <laughs> but to improve something. And, and uh, then we talk about internally about any kind of a new good idea. Is that already something we do today? We do it good or bad? Okay, if we do it yeah. bad, so it's a change if we do it better, so it might be a small task, yes, approved. But if it's something that we are very good at and it's super important, dead or alive question, it still might be that it's not part of our this year's strategy task because it's stamped as an important, it's stamped as, as kind of general business as usual. You need to do that. You, you, it's a heavy task. Everything you've learned, everything you've reached, you keep and continue with that. But the strategy process is to find out this deltas, what to change, what to yeah. do better. Good point, to find the deltas. Find very the deltas, good. I very think. Good yeah. Point. Yeah, that is and that's difficult, it's not easy at all. It's not easy at all to find the deltas. And there are so many deltas that to find the big deltas. Excellent. Exactly, and, yeah. and, and from that yeah. point of view, the focus areas, we, yes, we, we, kind of include everybody and our focus areas are related to uh, sales, uh, development and, and, and customer care. So all of our three functions actually in that sense are one focus area. Yeah, okay, those need to be orchestrated together for one sound purpose. But yeah, so also one, one, the tasks need to be synchronized. Yeah, so it means that at one, one team there, then has the focus on one of the focus areas and, and, and makes that happen. Yes, yes. Yeah, then uh, let's make a talk about the implementation. Now you have been doing, is it almost two and a half years now or what is it? Yes, it is. Two, two full years and, and uh, third year going. So, yeah. so two plus uh, and... Yeah. and uh, and, so now, now, what has happened during this year? How have you managed to, to keep up the energy and, and, and how have you, so, so to say, steer yourself? Um, we have drawn uh, a kind of a map and this is, this is one, one page, your map. And if, if you look at kind of the map there, so we have yeah. three years in a row, uh, kind of this, that was our not to reach all of the, three projects or three focus area to go in at, at, at one year uh, and then the world is done now, everything continues. Yeah, they were so, so big ones, yeah. <clears throat> so so, so from, from, from the beginning, from these main three saunas that we started, we have kept the concept of having an annual sauna. So we, we, we run in January a kind of a summary 
sauna of what happened, uh, the total, what we have reached, summary of projects we have reached last year, and then which of those we probably, the rest of those not completed, if we kill them down, if we call them, yes, enough, they have become business as usual, if we replace them with something new, then we orchestrate the, the next year in, in January. And then thereafter, every month, the first Monday of a month, we have a team meeting at the office. This okay. sound a kind, but we, we, we use it as a follow-up meeting. And, and, and we, we, we order food at uh, uh, 12 o'clock to the office for everybody. And then we first have a half an hour, one hour, we eat and talk about the things. And then the whole afternoon, sometimes two hours, sometimes four hours, we go through so that each of these three teams and sub-teams in the task, task could be run by one person, two person, three people, uh, combination. And everybody listens to these presentations that five minutes, 10 minutes, short shots, that how is my part doing? What have we reached? What have we done? Then we give uh, um, valuations that, okay, this is progressing, good, uh, fantastic. Uh, this hasn't been progressing, okay, because of we have been doing something else, some firefighting, something. And, and this way we truly follow up uh, what we promised to ourselves in January, we follow up every month and on the Monday meeting. Yeah, that is a fantastic process. And I know that you, you also have this quarter-based meeting, has, haven't you? Yes, yes. Uh, this, uh, because it's tempting to, 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 yeah, from the old times when something you hear something nice and somebody promises you dollars and euros and you start to crawl that direction and forgetting everything you promised uh, and, and then we are slapping ourselves to fingers and saying that no 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 you only if the change is meaningful uh, every third time when you have the monthly meeting you we are together allowed to change the focus uh, inside these tasks not not the whole annual big focus areas but but some projects or some priorities okay there. So every quarterly you quarterly you update update somehow the, and, 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 and assess that the, are we in the right direction. Yeah, we question ourselves that if, yeah. if, if, if everything we do still makes sense, do we want to continue any changes needed? Yeah. But, but uh, otherwise, if you don't lock yourself to one direction, um, it, it, it's, it's uh, yeah. easy that you just start to criticize every month, month, month month the the existing and, and then you don't get uh, focus on the on performing things performing thing takes time month is short yeah. time and, yeah. and then you i i admire your process i think it it, it sounds like a really really a good one but now everything is not smooth there are also so what kind of what kind of challenges have you seen also in steering the implementation what is the main challenge uh the main challenge is, is uh, doing your daily tasks, uh, what you do normally, the, the normal routines, normal, normal uh, business for customers, uh, yeah. everything everybody should do, and still taking the time for these new developments, these deltas, these processes, yeah. and all, all so on. And, and, uh, but it really helps that you have everybody should and will and automatically happens that you end up in the Monday morning uh, meeting of, of the first Monday of a month and then you recognize that bugger you haven't done anything for the last whole yeah. month for your task that you was so so then you just admit and say that okay with the with good ex <laughs> excuse that, that no, so, my part is undone, so everybody faces that and it's healthy. And then you ask that this is... So is there is a little bit of shame involved. And, and oh, the next, yes, definitely. The group yeah. pressure needs to be there. Everybody are involved, everybody promised, so it's not one direction. 
Yeah, but hey, by the way, uh, if if the, if if you would be two thousand, you probably have lot a lot of metrics involved, and you will build in that in your enumeration system. And so, how is it in in your company? Have you come to the to this point that you have to start to measure them, otherwise, and asking people, have you done it? Um, uh, I think it still is following the. The, the power of three that we have this uh, this uh, the strategy one paper one pager is is all these three uh, focus areas are there under those the main three or two projects are there and then each project group we have named in the beginning that this person and that person is doing a group in two or three uh, and 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 having that clear uh, when you have that system, you automatically follow up uh, those those things. Yeah, so you don't need a, anything else. That this is this is just enough. And I think it's a very it sounds like a very human way of doing it. Yeah, not yeah. And it's not mechanistic. <laughs> no, and and the and the risk is that if you make it mechanistic, so then you need one moderator uh, talking the whole first Monday meeting of, of a month and then everybody sits passively and listens. That's not, then it, then you kill the process. Then it's not, Yeah. it, it needs to be, everybody brings in something, everybody still very, very important is the, uh, that is the moment when we are together. Uh, then that's yeah. when I learn something that is happening on the, on the development side or, or, yeah. or, what happened in the sales side or, or what happened in the projects uh, truly that needs to be yeah. uh, learned for, for everybody. And, and, um. Mika, uh, one, one bonus question to you now. I just came to think of when you have the sales and when you have the development. So, mm. so how good is the link in your company that when sales hear something that the customer wants or, or some feedback, how well does it go to the guys who make the, pro, the, pro, the product? Yeah, and that's a good, good question. And, 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 and we have made two kind of mechanics there. Um, first of all, of course, this, again, I'm talk about, talking about these discussions, monthly discussions. Then we... Yeah really make sure that we we hear and listen and don't forget but then um to to fill in we have made mechanisms that we have internal uh, guidelines and and we have internal system where all the customer comments are written by by okay. Sales people okay. or customers can uh, from the project side the, who take care of current customers uh, customers have direct direct access to to this kind of a feedback um, system that 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 then we get true points we don't forget we have them there and then yeah. the, the development team is is uh, it's kind of a table where where you have the list and you prioritize and and yeah. also in the monthly meetings when development department explains what they've been doing under the sub projects they reflect it to the feedback that this is the strategy what we wanted I did do that prioritize that's nice. that's yes, nice. we prioritize nice. this this and this type of functionality because yeah. that kind of regulation comes uh, in, in 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 power and we need to fix that and and then also that there are customer comments and feedbacks and everything that changes the priorities in in some case but but it's yeah. I must say that now when, when you tell your story uh, after using this system for two, uh, two, two plus years, so I must, I must say that it sounds make a really good. I think that I have to congratulate you. I think you have made a, made a good, 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 good com culture there, culture there. So uh, uh, finally, Mika, what would be your advice to the listeners now if we talk about strategy? So, what is important? Uh, I, I think uh, kind of number one advice is to include everybody. Uh, yeah. okay. I understand that if you are 2,000 people, everybody means a little bit different than, than uh, 10 or 20 or 30 people. But in, in this kind of a context 
what we represent, uh, uh, this wouldn't happen without including everybody. So, yeah. so that's, I think... That's number one. Number one. Um, then the second one is, is uh, truly focusing on those changes that you want to make uh, and, and recognizing, not forgetting, uh, listing and understanding which parts are super important but they are stamped as business as usual topics yeah don't forget okay. it. it's part of everybody's uh, uh, role and job description and needs to be done and needs to be done well but then separate what is the things what we want to do differently where we need to build new processes what so we focus need on the deltas focus deltas, on the focusing on those changes yeah. deltas that's it and, 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 and then... Power of three, Mika, what is the third one? <laughs> exactly, there you go, how you guessed that. <laughs> Power of three. Yeah. Organizing the follow-up process. Yeah, and, ah, and, good. And that's it. If, and, and in a way, I don't know, do it with, uh, with sauna or do it without sauna, or how do you want <laughs> to do it with the monthly lunch or whatever, but then include truly everybody in there. Because people yeah. have their roles and, and they don't communicate differently. Make sure that the feedback is, tasks are open for everybody yeah. to vote and, and uh, task are everybody to, to, to give their idea. Uh, yeah. and, and, and yeah. Mika, if, if, if somebody, uh, at, uh, especially in the, in the first phase of the company when you can all sit around one co coffee table, and if somebody says, no, we just go with the flow, you know, very agile and we just follow the flow. And, and now this, when you have a system rigid in place, so would your, would your company prosper only with flow at this stage? What is your gut feeling? Uh, not, not, not even anymore. Not uh, anymore. Not anymore. Uh, it goes when you are three or five and, and I think somewhere close getting to 10 then, then you have so many minds and so many meaningful, important minds that they all will start to go slightly on their different directions. Then you need to have um, a agreed kind of a game plan, an or organized game plan. And, yeah. and always, I think, everything you do uh, needs, to, needs to focus on, on you're doing it, it's investment. You're doing it for the bet next times when you are more, yeah. when there is more hassling, when there are more customers, when you are yeah. more busy, then you need to have more guidelines, things. You need to replace people. We are not always here and people come and go and, and, and it can't be with a team of three, everything works because everybody knows what they do. And, yeah. and uh, but then, then, Later on, you need to replace, and those yeah. uh, must be structured uh, tasks and, and yeah. uh, mechanisms that work despite yeah. videos and things. So this focus leads to alignment. That that is your message also. Oh yes, oh yes, and it, it gives a beautiful. You learn. Uh, you need a bigger conference room every year, and you know. <laughs> then we open up the conference room because everybody don't squeeze in, and then then we <laughs> then we are in the coffee area, and then you know. But it's 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 kind of a also way to communicate, and and it's, it creates a lot of. You said it. That's actually a minute ago. Culture is oh. just word. It, you yeah. create somehow a culture, open culture. Yeah. People are involved, and it's it's really powerful. It really. Yeah. Mika. I'm, I'm so happy that you shared this journey with us now because I think there were so many valuable advices involved in this, in this short time that we spoke here. And I think a condensed message is mm -hmm. very valuable also. If it takes too much time, then, then, you, are, you, then you don't see the trees for the, for, the, for the... You don't see the forest for the trees or the leaves. So, so thank you, Mika Mustakale. I think a great story and congratulations for, for your company and con congratulations for the culture that you have been able to build there. I think you're a great leader. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Thank Marcus. you, Mika. Keep, we keep on focusing forward. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.